This airplane was a myth until recently, an unrealistic technology of the future. However, we now know that it not only exists, but is equipped with the best laser in history. Other countries also know this, so they're actively trying to surpass or at least reach its level. But can they beat the work of military art made by Lockheed Martin? Let's find out. The cutting-edge SR-72 Dark Star aircraft and the LAWS-2 laser system installed on it is one of the most effective weapons in the world. We first learned about the SR-72 in 2007. At the time, it was said that it was capable of reaching speeds of more than Mach 6, which is 3,980 miles per hour. The speed is currently classified, but I'm sure it's added a few more jet horses since then. The SR-72 uses the most advanced technology to successfully complete missions and flight ranges similar to the SR-71. An unrealistic comeback, isn't it? It can destroy targets on any continent within an hour and is equipped with hypersonic missiles from the Lockheed Martin Company. The high speed of the aircraft will allow it to easily and unnoticeably penetrate enemy airspace and strike with missiles or a laser, which weighs much less than its counterparts and has an unlimited ammunition life. By the way, the revolutionary LAWS-2 system has already been tested on other aircraft such as the A-10 Warthog. This system, in combination with the SR-72, is the most technologically advanced air weapon available today. Now we'll tell you in what way they're superior to their analogs. Developing such a sophisticated weapon is not an easy task. The engineers faced a number of challenges during the design process. The greatest difficulty in developing laser weapons is the energy source and the power of the shot. The more powerful a shot is, the more energy is required, and the more economical a shot is, the harder it is to destroy the target. The most successful 30-kilowatt laser weighs tens of tons and is deployed on fleets or giant machines because of the huge energy generation system for the shot. We built the uh, compact laser weapon system. Well, if it's compact for the scale of an aircraft carrier, it's unrealistic for airplanes. That's why the LAWS-2 is a perfect choice, because it can fit into a single internal launch slot and do its job perfectly. But everything is not so perfect. There's one typical problem with lasers, the weather. Moisture, steam, or dust significantly limit the efficiency of the laser. For now, this is solved by lenses and power, although I'm sure that in 10 years we'll see other solutions. The problem of placing the system in an aircraft with stealth features also forced the engineers to do their best, the more angles and protruding elements an airplane has, the larger its radar trail is. Therefore, the design of the SR-72 is adjusted to meet these needs. It's unlikely that the LAWS-2 system can be spotted with the naked eye, making it the first flying stealth laser. But SR-72 competitors are not resting on their laurels and are actively working to improve their concepts and technologies. For example, the NGAD, a sixth-generation fighter that'll soon see the light of day and will also be armed with laser weapons. The aircraft program arose from the Air Dominance Initiative study that was completed 10 years ago. Later, the U.S. Air Force published the Air Superiority 2030 plan, and in June 2022, the Secretary of the U.S. Air Force announced that the program was ready to move to the engineering, manufacturing, and design development phase. Based on visualizations released by Northrop Grumman and Lockheed Martin, both of which are competing to develop the new aircraft, it's clear that the aircraft could be significantly more stealthy than fifth-generation fighters thanks to a combination of improved design and new composite materials that should provide even more electromagnetic absorption. It'll be invisible not only in the radar dimension, but also in the thermal and visual dimensions. This is just one potential concept what it might look like. It's to describe a vision more than anything else. It's to, to put something tangible in people's minds. The main weapon for the NGAD will be the Advanced AIM-260A missile, or JATAM, which is currently being developed by Lockheed Martin. The JATAM is designed to counter the Chinese PL-15 long-range air-to-air missile and restore the U.S. monopoly on first shot. The future of weapons could look very different to what they look like today. Um, so we're looking at um, options to have flexible payload bays, have different missiles all contained within it. In addition, the NGAD will be equipped with a modified Helios laser system, which is actively used by the U.S. Navy. This is a great system that's already actively shooting down enemy drones in the Red Sea. 
However, it's inferior to the Lodge 2 in terms of power and firing modes. The only known power output of the Helios system is 60 kilowatts, which cannot be called very significant. The Lodge 2 in turn has two firing modes, a single 200 kilowatt and a laser machine gun mode with a speed of 8,000 shots per minute, which literally fills the air with heat hits and burns any surface. Another competitor to this advanced system is being installed on the British 6th generation Tempest fighter jet. The Tempest is a 6th generation fighter aircraft with stealth capabilities and optional control, which will be designed to flexibly cope with the changing battlefield of the future. It's expected that the project will include an open system for adaptation and expansion of capabilities. The time frame will be made of advanced composite materials and additives that will allow it to operate at high temperatures. Digital engineering technologies and advanced processes will be used to reduce production time. The aircraft will support scalable autonomy, which will allow for manned, unmanned, and optionally manned operations. The Tempest will be able to carry both existing and future weapons such as the Dragonfire. A recently released video of the test showed the successful use of the laser against an airborne target. It's potentially a game changer for air defense, says the video, which shows a bright laser beam piercing the night sky over a training range in the remote Hebrides archipelago, creating a ball of light when it hits its target. The British Ministry of Defense claims that the dragon fire can accurately hit a coin-sized target at long distances, but does not provide specifics. The exact range of the weapon is classified. We can just fire using, using a laser weapon and have on our platforms is potentially going to be much cheaper. The laser beam can cut through metal, leading to structural damage or more serious consequences. It's also claimed to destroy targets at a fraction of the cost of modern air defense missiles. The Ministry of Defense estimated the cost of a 10-second laser shot at about $13. For comparison, the basic missile used by the U.S. Navy for air defense costs more than $8,000. And it's possible that this weapon has already been used in combat, as the participation of the Dragon Fire in repelling Iranian attacks on Israel and protecting the Red Sea is being actively discussed by experts. Something tells me that this is true. And is at the leading edge, not just the technology, but in demonstrating the end-to-end -end capability and inform the UK's future procurement. The aviation version of the laser will be able to do even more. The only problem with this laser is its range. To effectively destroy a target in the air with dragon fire, you need to get very close to it. This figure's much better in the Laws 2. Target destruction is possible at a distance of two miles, and this is just the beginning. There are many opportunities to improve this weapon, and the resource for modernization is virtually inexhaustible. However, even now, these weapons are far ahead of their competitors in the West and definitely out of the reach of potential adversaries in China, Iran, or Russia. The potential applications of the laser system and the Dark Star in military operations are enormous. Its versatility has no limits, from precision airstrikes to defense against air defense systems. The implications for future defense strategies are inescapable, setting the stage for a new era of security and defense. What do you think of this cool weapon? Would you like to try shooting from a laser gun? Write your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and like the video because we work for you to keep you up to date with all the latest in the military industry. See you soon.